So you might be trying to go ahead and install APK files on your Android device, but for some reason, the action is not allowed on your Android phone. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons, but the number one reason why this ends up happening is because your particular device may actually end up having a basically like an IT team, you know, on your device. If it's like a work phone or something like that, there's probably going to be a lot higher, you know, things. There's going to be a lot of, you know, safe falls in a way for it to not install those APK files unless you're a device administrator, then you can turn it off. But a quick way to kind of tell if this is the case is to make your way over to your settings application of your Android device, and you want to make your way over to your security options. So there could be a little option that says something like safety and emergency, where you can see security, so right here, security and privacy. And what we want to basically keep our eye out for is to see if there's any other administrators on this device beyond than the ones that basically are there. So for here, you can see that we basically don't see anything that tells us like, hey, there's like another administrator on this phone. If you have a work phone, you should basically be able to see that work profile here. Even here, like under, you know, permission manager or privacy control, it says control app access, you know, to your data and so many other things. So if your particular phone, you know, if you notice that there's like a work profile on this device, you might not be able to install those particular devices. So the only way to fix that for the most part is to go ahead and contact your particular you know, device IT you know, team, your IT manager, whoever it is, and you should be able to go ahead and basically get through with them. And basically just, you know, if they want to remove that profile or if there's an ABK file you need for work or something or for your team, then you should be able to go ahead and kind of submit that and then get that to work on your phone. Now, for some reason, you have no idea what I'm talking about and that doesn't sound familiar at all. You may just have to go ahead and update your Android device. So make your way over to your settings application of your Android phone. So just come right back into this panel. And all you wanna do here is scroll all the way down until you see the system update panel right here. So click on system, scroll down until you see system update, which is right here. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is update your particular phone. This is another option that you have as well. And this right here can be another way to fix it. And if this doesn't work, you can probably try up, you know, restarting your phone, but those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.